Okay, so the next video is something that a few people have been having issues with, uh, and it relates to box plot and isolating groups. So to do this, there's a couple different ways, but the best way is as follows. So let's say we want to do box plot, and let's say we only want to do analyze height. So normally we would do box plot, name a data set, hockey, and height, and we get the following. So we have a regular looking box plot. Now let's say I want to do a box plot based on groups. So the best method is to do the following. Box plot, hockey, height, and then tilde, hockey, and then team. And what this does is it does a box plot of the variable height but groups them based on the indicator team. So R will go through the data set and let's go back up here and then I'll see okay under team there's only Canadians, Flames, and Oilers and then what I'll do is I'll isolate each one of these, create a box plot for each one, but place them on the same scale. So we do that, we get the following, which is much more clear. Now there is another option that we could do, and I won't go into much details, but we can type in the following. don't really need to know what I'm doing, but we'll get into this in a second. And if we look at our graph, we can see for the Canadians, the Oilers, and the Flames. The problem with this approach is they're on a wrong scale. We can see that for the Canadians it ranges 1.2, well actually technically below that, but we can sort of see it's 1.2 to 1.35, 1.75, 2.05, 1.45, 1.70. And if we compare it against the proper method, which is box plot hockey height grouped by team, we can see a very big difference. And so basically, what Boxplot did was again took the variable height and then grouped them into three different ones based on the identifier for team, and then just did Boxplot of those separate ones, and then place them on a proper scale.